हेलो असलम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई न्यू टूटोरियल ऑफ अवर विन सी सी रन टाइम स्काडा विच इज कॉल्ड विन सी सी आर टी स्काडा सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डेटा लॉगिंग एंड यू विल सी दैट वी आर गोइंग टू एड लॉग डेटा इन आवर इन आवर विंडोज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल सो यू विल सी दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टोरिकल डेटा एंड वी आर गोइंग टू यू विल सी दैट माई Uh, my PLC SIM is connected to my factory IO, and you will see that it is running. And in the tenant screen, you will see that the both uh, our set point. If you watch my previous video, you will understand our set point and the level. Level is showing in our tenant screen. I am going to show you. You will see that level, and it is now. You will see that it is showing. It is uh, now showing that trending. So we just uh, use uh, these these two tags, means set point and level. Show the set point and level in historical data. So first of all, you will see. I am just uh, start a logging. So you will see I created a first file which is data log, and we need to. Store into you will see that the CSV files, database files, RGB and TXT file Unicode. So if you we are going to select TXT like that, and we are going to some add app tags like that, and which is our set point tag, first tag, and another one which is our level tag. Uh, where is level? Like that. And we are going to change that cycle to I think two second is worth, and that one is two second is worth. So you will see it is our data execution and data log. And in the next we are going to save it to a CSV file. So you will see 500 data record, and we are going to add both two. So you will see that level, and the other tag is our set point right there. Why it is not created? I think if we are going to delete that, and so you will see that we just make two tags. So in the CSV file, we are going to create a level set point, and in the second one, we are going to create a text unity file. You will see the C in the logs, and we just use their K P T I N T D. I think. P and uh, here is our T I and another one which is our T D like that. So I think we used as just what uh, uh, in the uni uh, in the C S V we are going to use a uh, level and set point, but uh, in the T X T we are going to use a K P T I and T D. I think these are now going to ready. We are going to save that. And I am just. Uh, we need a button there. And I am going to name it a log on, like that. Log. Okay. I am going to double click my screen and select my button. So you will see that I am going to events. I am going to press. And uh, historical data, and you will see that we are going to start logging. And where is our log file? Data log one. And we need to start logging also. And we are going to start with data log two like that also. And we need another button for stopping that. So you will see that. Going to name it log of data logging of means. It means that data logging of. So I am going to add a new one, which is you now you will also copy log log file achiever. You will done many things, but uh, I am just showing you that. 
uh, which is data record one again i am going to create that is stop logging and selecting the data log for two i think these are now ready we are going to save the project and compile them now i am going to start my runtime screen and i am going to select a trend so i need another my username and password so i am going to select the start log on so you will see that my data logging is now start here is our kptai and td files and set points and it it is our level in the trends you will see there now i am going to my open my you will see that and i am going to you will see that in the window c we have logs so you will see in the window csv file i am going to say read on so you will see that here is our value of our set point and level so you will see that we are going to log there and in the txt you will also that see that the kp ti and td also so you will see that you will also see the timing so i think that's it that's how data logs are in the csv in the excel file and text txt file text file working in our main cc runtime scada so i think that's it thank you very much for watch my video please subscribe my channel like my video and click the bell icon and don't forget to subscribe my channel and read the descriptions and watch my video So thank you very much